Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all well. And yes, today is an out and about adventure. But where will I be today? You'll have to wait and see. Hello there, fancy meeting you here today. <laughs> so guys, yesterday I am in West Bromwich. As always, we're gonna take a look around the charity shop, see what we can find today. Hopefully some networks. The power of positivity is with us today. I can feel it right now. We're gonna find some gold today in them charity shops. So let's not hang about, guys. Let's go. I mean, we might even, if we've got time, we might even take a look at Primark and see some of the cool merch in there, some of the Guardian stuff, maybe. So we're going to see what time we're on, and then, uh, yeah, we'll see what we do. So let's not hang about, guys. Let's find our first charity shop of the day. Right, so we're walking over to all the DVDs I've read. There's still quite a lot of stuff here, guys, to go through. So, uh, yeah, let's dig in and see what we can find today. I have no idea what this film is. It's called Empire of Ash. I have not got a clue at all. But what next week, I do have the director's cut of Lethal Weapon. Very nice. Right, we found some Columbo. This is the third season, the pound. Yeah, we've got my favourite sitcom of all time, series two of Gavin and Stacey. So it looks like the charity shop gods are on my side today because I've got a bag of pickups. Yes, first shop of the day and I've got pickups. But two of the things I've just picked up, I'm gonna go and trade in right now to CEX. So what did I pick up? So the two titles that I picked up, which I paid 10 pence each for, which I am literally going to trade in to CEX right now is, I'm gonna wait for it. So a Jim Davison one and another Jim Davison one. So yeah, there I might do it. So 20 pence paid for both of these. So I think I'll get five for one and 120 for the other one in trade in voucher. So uh, yeah, I'm not gonna hang about guys. I'm gonna get these ones traded in right now while I'm live on the video. So let's go see CEX next. Let's get these traded in and we'll carry on looking around the charity shops. Yeah, I didn't manage to pick anything up today in CEX, but I have come away with a voucher. Yes, I've come away with a voucher for £6.20. Not bad for spending 20 pence, eh? <laughs> so yeah, I'll save that voucher for another day or when I go on another charity shop hunt and look around another CEX. So let's carry on, guys, and let's go and find some more charity shops. <laughs> Today, guys, it's looking like a good day for Jim Jam. I do have some more pickups that I've just picked up from British Heart Foundation, but you'll have to wait till the end of the video and I will show you everything that I've picked up. Yeah, we do have a blue right there. I think it's Avengers, yep. Age of all I have no idea what this film is, guys. It's a Disney film called Heavyweight. Is it 90 or something? Like if you like Mighty Ducks. Oh. What is this? The complete Sleepy Hollow third season. You know you're saying um... Yeah, I've just got out of sense. It looks like it is starting to rain. Silly Jim Jam didn't bring a coat. Well, I've got my cap. That is a bonus, I suppose. <laughs> got some blue rays up the top here. 
Right, nice. This is some Blu rays there, guys. Nothing I actually needed. Is there something I should have picked up in them Blu rays there? Oh no, the rain has started. Here we go. Never mind, we're not going to let that dampen our spirits today on our out and about adventure, are we? We're going to go into the Midlands Air Ambulance next, which is inside, which is good because I will stay nice and dry as well. That's better, we're inside now. Um, yeah, I did even put my sunglasses in my bag today to take with me, but don't think I'll be needing them lately. <laughs> so yeah, the Midlands Air Ambulance Shop. I have had some luck in there in the past. I have found some nice gems in there. So will I find any gems in there today? We shall see. So let's go into Midlands Air Ambulance. Yeah, not really seeing too much guys. I am having a good look right now, but I'm not really seeing anything that's um, jumping out at me. Looks like we've got the green, green grass here is one. Here is two. Table, yeah. Two yeah. Looks like we've got some more DVDs on this rack here. So, uh, not a rack, what is it? It's um, like a carousel thing. So let's have a look, see if there's anything good. Yeah, so you can see there, it looks like we've got not going out. We've got series one to three, then series four to five. I think these have been taken from uh, the box set. Oh, what's this? They've got the complete DVD collection of Paddington Bear. This is the original series, filmed in 46 minutes of Marmalade Madness. God, there is a lot of F-Souls on there, no? Pinnock. It's time to go in Primark. Yeah, so first thing I'm seeing is some brand new t-shirts. That's a really cool Top Gun one. They've got this Tweety Pie one for £7. And a Super Mario's one from the new movie. Yeah, lots of cool t-shirts here today, including this really nice Doctor Strange one. They've got a Fast and the Furious one there. Yeah, they've even got a really cool Spider-Man one there for you, Evander, mate. Right, our next shop of the day is The Entertainer. Let's go and check out the Funko Pops. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, we do have some of the Star Trek Funko Pops now reduced to clear from £5.50 to £8.25. Yeah, some of the Jurassic World Dominion Funko Pops have been reduced, including Eddie Sattler is now £8 instead of £12. Oh, there's uh, Optimus Prime right next to it. <laughs> oh, it's not Octopus Prime, is it? It's uh, Trax, sorry, Trax. Oh, and I've even got Rocket. There he is, for £13. Next to Costco Reeves. <laughs> yeah, the next shop I'm going to pop into today is one below. I very much doubt they've got any new media in there because I think they've stopped getting stuff in. But we'll, we'll take a look anyway. Why not? Yeah, so it doesn't look like they've got any new titles in. I wasn't expecting it to be honest, but it's nice to still see Blu-rays on the shelf here because some stores have stopped doing it all together. For example, when I went to Wolverhampton, one there was just a few Blu-rays on the end of the till. So yeah, it's nice that they've still got a little section in one below. Right, we're in Tesco's over at the magazine section. So yeah, we have got the, the latest issue of Empire with Guardians on the front. And right here, we have got the brand new issue of Total Film with, of course, Indiana Jones on the front. How cool is that front cover, guys? Yeah, I don't do this very often in my videos, but for today, I'm going to take a little look at the comics that they've got in Tesco. So let's take a look. Here's one from my good friend Ivanda. This is the latest issue of The Amazing Spider-Man. Wow. And next week, we've got the Doctor Who magazine which comes with a giant double-sided poster. And this is really cool. So this is Rocket Raccoon. This is the Marvel Select comic. Very cool, 9.99. And right up here, we've got Deadpool chilling out there on a watermelon. This is Deadpool and Wolverine. Awesome, now at the back, Judge Dredd. We've got 2000 AD. This one looks really cool. He's called the Dark Side, Unspeakable Horrors. Whoa, look at that, guys. <laughs> right, so we're down the toy aisle. It looks like we've got 50% off certain toys, including this one. This is the Amber Mine excavation set from Jurassic World Dominion. How cool this is, and we've got some really cool dinosaurs reduced to clear here as well. Yeah, we've got more guys. We've got Spider-Man Group, Captain America, Hulk, and of course, Black Panther right at the end there. How cool are they? £10 each. 
Right then, this is the part of the video where I'll make you all hungry. Let's take a look at all the crispy creme donuts on display in at Tesco. Oh, which one are you going to choose, guys? Oh, they've got a new one there, blueberry boom. Chocolate sprinkles. Right, guys, I think I am done for today at West Bromwich. I've got me some pickups, guys, so let's get home and I'll show you all my pickups. And just like that, guys, I am back home. Yes, I have got pickups to show you today, guys. I am very, very happy with what I've picked up today. And to be quite honest, I didn't spend that much money. The grand total I spent today, wait for this, £1.80. Yes, that is all I spent. Not even the price of a Costa coffee. <laughs> So yes, what did I pick up today? So as you saw from the video footage, I did go into Shelter. Yes, I do like that Shelter store. They get quite a lot of stuff in um, a lot of the time. Uh, last time I went, I didn't really stop, but today it looks like a few new titles have been added to the sh added to the shelves. So what did I pick up? So these were all ten pence each. Um, I've got these on Blu-ray already, but I believe these are the director's cuts, so I picked them up. But they only had the first one and the third one, but that's cool. So I picked up the director's cut of Lethal Weapon. Yeah, so what I might do with these, these are really shiny snapper cases as well. So what I might do with these is, I might take the discs discs out and put the insert into the blu-ray case and make like um a little combo pack so i thought yeah for 10p and uh, as you can see they're really shiny um i thought i'd pick that up so that is lethal weapon i also picked up i said lethal weapon 3 i didn't have the second one there unfortunately or number four but that's cool i thought for 10p again a director's cut i'd pick it up so very happy to pick those up and I did pick up a, a few classic titles for the collection. As you know, I do collect the Warner classic films. I've got quite a few. I will do a separate video at some point um, showcasing all the titles I have in the Warner DVD collection. So um, what did I pick up? I picked up... I'm so prepared, isn't I, guys? I picked up the Tarzan collection. Yeah, as you can see, put out by Warner Brothers. It's Tarzan the Ape Man and Tarzan Escape. So we've got two films on here. Again, as you can see, Tempe. Um, yeah, I've never seen these before. I thought, yeah, I'll give it a go. And they'll go very nicely into the Warner Archives collection. Well, it is sort of the Warner Archives collection because most of these classic films have been put out by a Warner Archive on Blu-ray. So... I thought, yeah, definitely going to pick that one up. And another one I picked up, which is a nice two-disc edition. I didn't have it in the collection. It's Around the World in 80 Days. Now, I've never seen this film in my life before, but it's from 1956. And, uh, yeah, it does look good. Well, if you've seen this one, guys, leave down below in the comments if it's any good. But you do get an absolute ton of extra features on the back there as well. Uh, loads of, like, um, award footage and stuff. So I thought, yeah, definitely going to have that and add that into the collection. Um, the last two I picked up from Shelter. So these are two comedy legends. It's Abbott and Costello. And this is another double pack. This is Meet the Invisible Man and Go to Mars. Yes, I've never seen either of these films before. I do have an Abbott and Costello in the collection. I think I have the Frankenstein and the Mummy. In like another double pack like that. I'm not sure whether that came out of a box set though to be honest. But I thought again. Can't, can't complain for 10p. And the last one I picked up from Shelter. Was. <laughs> another double pack. Yeah it's a two disc set. And recently on Netflix. I have checked the brand new episode of Power Rangers out. The, the reunion Power Rangers. And I've, I've sort of got a bit of a. A bit of an interest into re-watching Power Rangers at the minute. I think that's ignited a spark from when I was, like, younger watching it. So I saw this. This isn't the original uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, but this is Power Rangers Megaforce, and this is a double pack. So on here, there's uh, how many episodes? We get 15 action-packed episodes across two discs. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna pick that up because um, it'd be great, great to watch some of these episodes because I, I, some of the lighter Power Rangers I've not seen. I've just really seen the original Mighty Morph because that was around the age. It came out in 93, didn't it? The original Mighty Morph Power Rangers. So that's around the age I was a kid and stuff. So, But it'll be great to watch some of these lighter episodes and uh, yeah, see what they're all about. And I also had two more pickups from Shelter, but as you saw from the video, I traded them when I was out as well in CX. There were two Jim Davidson 
um, Jim Davison DVDs, comedy DVDs. Um, I didn't think nothing about it at the time. I thought, you know what, just have a just have a little look, see how much they're worth. And the one was worth uh, five pound, and the other one was worth one twenty. So effectively, I got a nice six pound voucher for. Uh, Spending tw spending twenty pence basically, so yeah. But unfortunately, I didn't see anything in CEX that I wanted to pick up with that voucher. But I'll probably save that for another day. So it's it's all good. It's all good. Next, I went into British Heart Foundation. Now there's a sticker on their DVDs saying fifty p each or three for a pound, as you can see there. So I thought I found three titles that I wanted. And I, I took them to the till, and the lady said, that'll be £1.50, please. And I went, I thought they were free for the pound. I don't mind paying one fifty. that's not a problem at all. But the sticker actually states on there, 50p, or free for the pound. So she says, I've got to call someone down from upstairs to uh, to verify this. So I thought, yeah, that's no problem at all. You do that. And, um, yeah, she, 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 she was adamant that that was 50p each. So I, I, I literally said, I'll go to the Dudley one, and they've charged me the same price, three for the pound. So um, she said, and then the woman comes, yeah, they're three for the pound. So I was like, that was a little bit of a wasted time there. But um, yeah, I did find three things I wanted to pick up for a pound. So I'm going to show you what they are. Another Warner Brothers classic title today, and it's the film with Cary Grant and Alexis Smith. So Cary Grant plays Carl Porter in Night and Day. Yes, I don't know much about this one at all, guys. But again, a nice classic Warner Archives title for the collection. Um, yeah, these are actually really, really great fun. I, I have moments when I just want to watch an old film. I don't want to watch a modern film. I want to stick an old classic film on. And it's titles like this that I enjoy doing. Um, on an afternoon and stuff, these are nice little films to stick on and just chill out to. So, uh, yeah, that is night and day. Uh, the next one I picked up, and this is a film from 1988. So this will be going into the 80s collection, a film with Sally Field and Tom Hanks. I'll be completely honest with you, I've never heard of this film in my life. But it's put out by Columbia Pictures, so it, is, it is, must have been quite a big title back in that. It's a film called Punchline. Yeah, don't know nothing about this, but he's Tom Hanks, he's 80s, so I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, comedy brought them together, ambish, ambition drove them apart. So, yeah, if you've seen Punchline, guys, leave down below if it's any good. Um, yeah, one hour 58 minutes. So Sally Fields in this film as well. So, uh, yeah, don't know about that one. And yes, guys, I did find a network release today on my Out and About. And it is the complete third series of the da -da -da, Hail and Pace. Yes, I do briefly remember this growing up as a kid in the 90s. Um, I'm not sure, did it used to be on Sunday nights or something? But um, I thought, yeah, found me some network today. I'm very, very happy. And this is from 19... 1990 i think this series so uh yeah i look forward to checking this out i've never seen it before i do like my uh my comedy from every decade really there's not a decade i don't like the comedy from i do like a lot of the 70s stuff like george and mildred man about the house that kind of stuff but this comedy is good as well it's it's just all great fun to sit down and watch one of these episodes of classic comedy and uh yeah just reminiscing nostalgia because that's what it's all about guys that's what it's all about sometimes it's good looking back at some of the stuff you used to watch from years ago and just yeah just enjoying it because that's what it is all about at the end of the day so guys that is it for today's video and that is it for my pickups before i go i do want to do a big massive massive shout out to my good friend Hale. So if you didn't real, if you didn't know, Hale has started a channel up. He started a channel up today, and it is big screen, small screen uh, chats with Hale. I hope I've said that correctly. I'll apologise if I've messed up. Big screen, small screen chats with Hale. That's what his channel's going to be called. And he's going to be looking through his collection. He's going to be telling us all about some of his favourite TV shows in his collection. 
And uh, yeah, he's a great, great friend of mine. So please go over to his channel and drop him a sub. And uh, yeah, please, please go and support him. So thank you so much. Um, and that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the out and about today. Um, yeah, the the weather has gotten a bit. Uh, no, it's um. It's really dark. It's going to rain any minute now. Um, as I was walking down the street, just the thunder started. So I, I literally darted it down. <laughs> but thank you so much once again for watching the video. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to share. And don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you all very soon in the next video. Bye, guys.